Hello Stanley, you need fabric? This is Uncle Farouk everybody. He's the most famous Guji you'll find in Leicester. No introduction needed. This is Saj everyone. You know what? I sound like I'm complaining. Alhamdulillah, life's good. What's going on guys? We're back with another weekly. Thanks for watching last week if you did watch. If you didn't, catch up on it. Back at the office, uh, we've got a few jobs on. Uh, got to pop to the bank. We're going to go pick the van up later on. Uh, we've got to find time to pop to Leicester. What else have we got to do? What else have we got to do, lad? We've got so much on today. I'm sweating buckets. Week number two, Monday morning. Let's get this bread. Hello, Stanley. You need fabric? Hello. Hi, uh, it's KBT Fabrics. Right, first jobs first. We're going to the bank. We're going to deposit these checks. I'm going to go to the bank. Go to Volkswagen, pick the van up, and then I'll leave from there. So why don't you actually do give him the banking? Today? Okay, we'll do that then. You do the banking. How many rolls are there? A thousand meters. So ten rolls. About ten rolls. Yes, yeah, fine. Put them in the van. We Let me go get the van. I'll be back. All right, go and get the van then, and then come back. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's stay in this van. Let me go get a black bag. We've got to be in Leicester for 3 o'clock and it's currently 3.05 so we're doing excellent for time Okay, so we're just sitting with Darren, signing the last bits of paperwork putting the van straight to work even, <laughs> even though this is a, a face only a mother could love but I'll still put it out there I don't know why, I don't know what's possessed me to do this but I'm going to have to use this cop as rubbish So I've just poured the sugar into the cup that I use for rubbish. Just got the van insured. They want an extra £700 for the year. It's not bad. Considering that Bilingo is only worth, what, three and a half grand? Yeah. Three grand. Yeah. And that's a 30 grand van, so... It's alright, isn't it? I don't care about anything else. 21 plate or not, it's got AC that works. Let's go. All right, we can finally go get that Jackie potato though, because this van qualifies. <laughs> We're not paying 63 pound anymore. We're just paying the three pound for the Jackie potato. So it looks like the containers arrived from Taiwan. Listen, take the rolls that side. Yo, what one? just come to Leicester, we've come to drop off this fabric. We're gonna go and meet uh, my dad's good friend, Mr. Farouk. Yes, dad? Did you drop it off? I'm just, I'm approaching now. I'm, uh, I'm about five minutes away. All right, He's, he should have another fabric which should be ready, yeah? It's a black one. Okay. Yeah, so ask him, when you drop that off to him, tell him I'll come to pick the uh, black fabric up. Okay, no worries. Yeah, and ask him for uh, an invoice for that one. We're just here in Leicester, unloading the van. We've got another collection to do. We'll catch you up when we uh, meet up with Uncle Farouk. <laughs> this is Uncle Farouk, everybody. He's the most famous Guji you'll find in Leicester. He's a, oh, sorry, he's a memon. How long you know my dad? 30 odd years. You know what? Uncle Farouk's a top guy, man. MashaAllah. <laughs> Stop recording me, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've done what we had to do in Leicester. Uncle Fruit's a character. Him and my dad go back what, 30, 35 years before I was born. Mashallah, they've had a, a long innings with each other. Lovely van, isn't it? So I've picked up from A and now I'm delivering to B. And the money's in the bag, baby. This one feel like a courier. I wish I went back to tea drinking. They've upgraded me since the last vlog. I'm now a courier. I mean, stock on the floor is good. Stock on the floor is great. But at the same time, the aim of the game is to sell, sell as much as you can. It's currently 6.30. We close at 6, so we've done half an hour overtime. Be sure to tell Somia, so I'll get that extra zinga. Dad just uh, giving the 
a seal of approval on the van. Gavin, congratulations on the new thank van. You. Yeah, thank I you hope you well. like it. Okay, but you've got a reverse cam and you've got AC. No introduction needed. This is Saj, everyone. Okay, it's Tuesday afternoon. Uh, I've had a phone call from one of my very, very good customers uh, based out of London. We are actually close today because we're celebrating Eid. Life of, uh, of working for yourself. Let's go, lad. So I've just loaded up the car. As you can see, we're using the BM as a van again. Oh, I know we had the Golf last time, but you know, it is what it is. I don't want to travel in this heat in the van. We're just with David. We've arrived in London. We're doing the delivery and we're out of here. Cause you know what? It's my day off. I shouldn't be working, but David pays well. So, sorry, yeah. I just need to sign the delivery note for me, please. He is a real gaffer here. Yeah. I was born with a roll of cloth. <laughs> Believe you or not. Like, share and subscribe. By now, you must know who this is. Clive, the electrician. Everyone Everybody knows. seems to claim that it's his or their electrician. <laughs> the wire man. <laughs> the wire man. Clive's got a famous saying. Don't touch it, because you create an almighty bang. <laughs> Clive, tell us a story about these. About these? Yeah, about the young lady who yes, invented these. Young lady um, who used to deliver stuff to electricians on site. One day she saw us, uh, not me, but um, electricians using um, yeah, the, the covers of chunking to feed wires through. And she gave the idea of making fishing rods, but you can connect them together. I can't remember the actual brand she came up with, but anyhow, um, she was the first one. She said, oh, 22, this young lady was. And she sold to all the wholesalers and then sold the, um, I think she was in, even on Jaggers then. Was she? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was on Dragon's Den. They're fishing rods, they're fishing wires through. So, so you got to get a wire from the top to yeah. the bottom. Yeah. How would you do it when it's behind it like a Or under, under the floorboard, under the floorboard in cavities, that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? You, you need something to actually um, um, guide the wire through. Oh yeah, for the staircase? Yeah. For, for it the, was metal ones. I don't know what they're putting through there, man, but it absolutely reeks. We've got this Kappa Recycling next door to us. I phoned them. I phoned them last time. And he says, hello, Kappa Recycling. And I'm like, yeah, hi, mate. I'm, uh, I'm one of your neighbors. And he goes, yeah. He goes, what do you want? I says, your place stinks. And he put the phone down. <laughs> Clive thought I was, I was letting one rip on the way down. I was just doing that, mate. You, you, don't know, you don't know what's coming up the bloody chimney, you know what I mean? Eh? You don't know what's coming up the chimney. Yeah, that's, that's toxic gas, man. You know what I mean? You know, I'm working. <laughs> and every time I see you, you're like, you're like talking to this guy. He or you talking to the camera? He wants to make me feel so. <laughs> He's the next Denzel Washington. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need Denzel Washington. We want people who want to do some work. We just get our job finished. How long have you been on our job, Clive? Only two Be days. truthful. Two days. No, two the fire alarm and the lighting, all of it. Oh, they're, oh, they're, oh, they're. <laughs> yeah, come on, tell us. Let's not talk about that. But, but the thing is, right, the thing is, I came with, I came with one thing, right? He said to me, is when I, I, I questioned him about this job. I said, how long have you been on that job? He goes, uh, six months. I said, hang on a minute. I'll give you another, another chance. So he goes, yeah, about six months. I said, like, we've been in Corona lockdown for one year. Hey, eh? what's KBT known for? <laughs> Adding stuff. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? So I'm a little bit hot in here. So basically, we needed some lunch money, so we've just come to the storage yard to pick up some cash. Thanks, Beth. No this is our other business. We're also in the storage business whereby you come, you rent a container, you drive up to your box, put whatever you want, fill it up, blah, 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 and drive off. We're open 24 hours. Because it's E today, the guy who runs the site's off, but the storage <laughs> manager, uh, Ms. Beth here. Which looks a mess right now. She's hiding her face because she's shy on camera. I'm not shy, it just look a mess right now. Sorry. And what on earth is this thing, Beth? It's oh, like, it's like not, it doesn't even cover <laughs> half the desk. Bit useless, isn't it? But uh, anyway, this is Beth, everybody. Hi. She is our storage manager. She runs all the sites up and down the UK. She makes sure people pay. And if they don't, can't pay, we'll take, take it, away. it away. Yeah, you know the one. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this is our storage arm of the business, as I was saying earlier. 
Um, we're quick in and out today, but we are going to come back. Um, we're going to introduce this in, in one of the future vlogs. Yeah, best doing the day shift here today. We've got we've got uh, day and night staff, it's fully camered up. All our sites are camered up. Um, and yeah, we, we're spotted in all the city centres, in all the major city centres around uh, around the UK, and hopefully expanding to Europe soon. These are all discontinued dyes. Nobody does these anymore. We've still got a lot of these colours. All these got Madonna Blue, Bordeaux, Scarlet, Tangerine, Cerise, Emerald, Desert Dust. And we do them in a bigger size, like this. Got a bigger size, 500 gram. With this knife, right, we open cans like this. It's actually made to open cans. They've done a good job of this, haven't they? Doesn't want to open, does it? There you go. That's Bordeaux. Now the thing with this stuff, you can't really dye polyester with it because if you dye polyester, you need a high temperature. You can't really achieve that temperature at home. So you really need something like a, a commercial outfit to reach that temperature. You need to get to about 800 degrees to dye polyester. Whenever you dye your clothes at home sort of thing, you'll notice that the garment's dyed and the stitching's still the old colour. Now why is that? It's because the stitching is probably polyester. This thread is white, isn't it? Now, if I was to dye this black, this shirt black, you'll probably see the white thread. That white thread won't go black because it's polyester. The shirt itself is cotton, but the thread is polyester. That will dye black, but the thread won't. Well, last minute order here. Right, it's the end of the day. Time to go home. But before that, we're going to pop into Pass Force, drop the parcel off, make sure that customer gets that order tomorrow. No, a little yes, bit tired because uh, uh, it's hot. Oh yeah, cruising, cruising. Uh, I'm driving this machine inside cruising machine. Uh, so yeah, yeah. If you don't have order for a story, I'm driving this machine inside cruising machine. I'm enjoying this job. Okay, see you guys. See you later. You see, that's what you call humble. I need to take a leaf out of his book. Yo, allforcutters.co.uk, yeah? For all your all for blades. Window tinters, vinyl wrappers. All right, we've done that, we've dropped that off. Hopefully that should get delivered to the customer as promised in the morning. Uh, I think we'll call it a day here and we'll catch you tomorrow for another long day. Join us in the Sprinter. We're on the first of three drops. We've got one local drop. We've got one drop in Leicester. We've got another drop in Nottingham. What a confusing road layout. Obviously some opera made that road. You're on this, suck it up. Sit down. We're having breakfast on the move. First delivery. Buddy, where are you going? So as you can see, this is quilted fabric. It's a lining that's been quilted. Uh, this one actually has a, a design in it. Obviously, the, the customer that we're at, that's his logo or whatever, or the customer that they're making it for. This is all manufactured in-house at KBT. These are some heavy rolls, mate. This is the only one and only time you'll see me doing any work. We still haven't found out who's damaged the van. Nobody knows who done it, Faris. But we're still on the hunt for this guy. We've got the whole army out. We've we've had to hire uh, what do they call them them people? Private investigators. Coming for you, lad. You know what? I love the heat, but I hate working in the heat, man. I've literally showered in my own sweat. Just got to Leicester, I'm gonna unload the van. Hello, is anybody here? Girl like the biscuit, half a E. So it starts as this plain fabric, plain white fabric, and on here 
We'll have a design printed. Uh, so I think we'll just take a lunch break. My friend's always banging on about this place called Boo Burger. We're gonna go and check it out. All right, so we're just at Boo Burger. Quick pit stop, get some lunch. Um, there's loads of restaurants on this road. London Road, Ebrington Road. Leicester's a nice place, man. We always seem to find ourselves here. Try it out if you're ever in Leicester. I'll let you know my thoughts once we've eaten. Let's go. That burger was amazing. Try out Boo Burger, man, whenever you're in Leicester. They got stores in Manchester and Nottingham as well. On to the next stop. Because the last thing I want to do is stand next to a hot engine on a hot day, filling up Ad Blue in my tank. Right, we've just arrived into Nottingham. Final delivery of the day. But the work don't stop here because my mother just called me and she's giving me a whole list of things to do. One including fix up. But that ain't happening overnight. Right, we're just approaching our customer in Nottingham. We're going to unload the van and then head straight back to Birmingham because I am absolutely shattered. And that's a job well done, mate. Back to the office. I think we're gonna call Thursday a day here. You know why? Can't I do no more work? Oh, look who it is, Dad. All right, Dad. Hello. Hello. You okay, Dad? Can you, uh, yeah, yeah. Can you pick up a roll? We're in Leicester. Yeah. All right. Well, I've just come from Leicester. I'm in Nottingham now. Yeah, we're just. Pick it up from there, yeah? So we thought we were going home. Little did we know, Dad has other plans. He just called me, he says, go back to Leicester where you come from. But you know what? I sound like I'm complaining. Alhamdulillah, life's good. You're not going to believe the mission we've been on. Birmingham, Leicester, Nottingham. Now back to Leicester and back to Birmingham. Well, that's not even like guaranteed. Could get a phone call halfway and say, you know what, can you go to London? Good morning, guys. You join me at my desk. It's Friday. End of the week. I'm just ordering the out-of-stock fabrics, uh, making sure everything's prepared for next week. Today's going to be a short day. I'm leaving in a couple of hours. I've got a good friend's wedding to attend. Logbook and retention certificates arrive for the van, so we're going to get the number plate on the van. Uh, other than that, I've got to quickly pop to Leicester again. Probably won't join you for that. Now we've got two vlogs up. I would like your honest opinions on which style of vlog you prefer. Do you prefer week one? Do you prefer week two? Or should I just quit YouTube completely and stick to my day job, which is drinking tea, as you all know. Smile. I make restore this chair uh, for somebody. This choice is a customer's choice. Material is very nice. It makes frame a little bit stronger and give new life this chair. <laughs> yeah, step by step. Stanley, I bought you a stapler. Too many, too many. This is for kids. <laughs> this is for kids. I have, um, okay. this is a uh, very old Italian style gun, it's amazing gun, yeah, I have two. Some okay, but uh, I make a uh, thousand away. staples per day, this, this is uh, normal. <laughs> My week's been hectic, stressful, solving problems, day-to-day -day running, firefighting. Hello. Hello. Hi. Well, I'm just back from Leicester, just picked up the uh, printing that we dropped off yesterday. That's how fast we turn things around here at KBT. Don't give the customer a reason to complain. Just gotta make the van official. 
official KBT property and uh, slapped the 5 KBT number plate on the new van. Thanks for watching this week's weekly. It's half two now. I'm gonna love you and leave you here. Uh, I've got a shoot to Chelmsford to my good friend's wedding. I'm not gonna be back till probably Sunday morning now. So I think we're gonna end the vlog here. Dale, you new fabric! This is simple job for me. Customers should be happy. Put the extra material is from bad condition, back area and seat area. So next time I show I show people uh, how I'm restoring for vintage furniture, Chesterfield for example. As you can see we stocked a whole range of Gorilla Glue. This is what I'm using to mount the number plates. This is what I always use and honestly it's like using super glue. Even the rock wouldn't be able to pull the plates off. Basically this is a heavy duty mounting tape. It's a double sided sticky tape and um, I use it to mount all my number plates. And there you go, voila. That's the KBT, new 5 KBT van. And I think she's a beauty, baby. Right, I'm going. So uh, I'll see you all next week. Hi, Sam. Thank you. you okay? Yeah. How's, how's your week been? Uh, it was good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't normally ask her that, just for the camera. <laughs>